A shiver of fear will race through the spines of the world's leaders as they witness the dark rise of smoke from Babylon. The looming threat to their lives and the very fabric of their existence will send shockwaves across the globe. Whether directly witnessing the spectacle or catching glimpses through the lens of social media, the sudden and dramatic demise of this political and economic powerhouse will be an undeniable spectacle for all eyes to behold. Babylon the Great, in all its might, is on the brink of an irreversible fall. America is not God's chosen land where he protects only this nation and destroys all others. Revelation 18 speaks of the opposite, but more on this in a moment. Yahshua isn't going to rapture up the land of the free so that it can avoid judgment from the sins of both the past and the present. The Messiah is only returning one time. Revelation 18 is a prophetic warning for you to make a decision, flee under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, or stay and face the terrible punishment the home of the brave will receive. Revelation 18 is a chilling forewarning about the collapse of mighty Babylon, which stands prominently as the epitome of corruption and decay. We will examine historical events in scripture where ambition clashed with divine order, from the audacious Tower of Babel to the rise and fall of the Babylonian Empire. We will witness how pride led to chaos exile, and divine judgment. I encourage you to read Revelation 18 and compare it with what is happening in the West today. This is not a scare tactic. Please seek the Most High and be led by the Spirit. It's always better to pray for clarity and read the Bible than to take someone's word at face value. You owe it to yourself to read it for yourself. Trust me. In this episode, we will explore striking parallels between ancient Babylon's demise and the gradual decline of the modern day Babylon. The prophetic message reveals our society's unchecked greed, excessive pride, and moral corruption. This isn't merely a tale of doom. It's a resounding wake-up call. Discover the urgent plea to distance oneself from Babylon's sinful ways, aligning with righteousness to avoid impending judgment. So let's get into it. Revelation 18, one through three sets the stage. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. The angel had great power. The angel's glory made the earth bright. The angel shouted with a powerful voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. She has become a dwelling for demons and a haunt for every impure spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, a haunt for every unclean and detestable animal. For all the nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her, and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. The vivid imagery continues, depicting merchants lamenting the city's destruction, signifying the collapse of lucrative trade and wealth. It emphasizes the extravagance of goods and riches traded in this city echoing the demise of its affluence. Within the dire prophecy lies a solemn call 
echoing through the ages, reminiscent of Isaiah's message in Isaiah 48, verse 20. Leave Babylon, flee from the Babylonians, announce this with shouts of joy and proclaim it. Send it out to the ends of the earth. Say the Lord has redeemed his servant, Jacob. Similarly, Revelation 18 reverberates this urgent plea. Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. The call to flee Babylon is a clear warning to those following the Most High, advising them to steer away from the sinful practices and destiny of this corrupt city. It's an urging to live differently, away from worldly temptations and moral decay, and to seek a life marked by righteousness and purity. Revelation 18 ends by foretelling the complete destruction of Babylon, emphasizing how its downfall is inevitable. It warns against getting involved in Babylon's sins to avoid facing its coming judgment. In essence, the message is straightforward. Heed the call to flee Babylon, detach from its attractions, and embrace a life guided by righteousness to avoid the impending judgment. Now, who is the daughter of Babylon? To truly comprehend the significance of Babylon, we must journey back to the earliest chapters of Genesis, as well as the age of the Babylonians around 600 BC. Picture a time when humanity was united, speaking a common language and dwelling together in the land of Shinar. In their unity, they desired to build a city with a tower that would reach the heavens, a tower that would make a name for themselves, signifying their defiance and independence from the Most High, Babel a place where ambition clashed with divine order. The people, spurred by their desire for greatness, endeavored to construct a tower that soared into the skies, aspiring to challenge the very authority of the Lord. Their majestic project aimed to defy Yah's command to scatter and multiply across the earth. It was an audacious attempt to establish themselves as lowercase g gods, flaunting power rivaling that of Elohim. However, their desires were not aligned with the divine will. Witnessing their arrogance and rebellion, the Most High intervened. Their unity and purpose will only lead to further defiance. Let us intervene and disrupt their communication so they cannot comprehend one another. Consequently, chaos ensued as confusion reigned, forcing the people to abandon their lofty endeavor and scatter across the earth, forming diverse nations and cultures. This account of the Tower of Babel serves as a harsh illustration of human ambition unchecked by humility and reverence for the Most High. Yah is incredibly wise and his power is vast. No one can challenge him and come out unharmed. From the ancient story of Babel, let's journey forward to a crucial turning point in the archives of Israel's history, 597 BC. Babylon, under the formidable reign of Nebuchadnezzar, emerged as an unrivaled empire of immense power. With ambitions akin to the ancient Babel, Babylon sought dominion over nations, exercising authority across wide regions. During this period of turmoil, Babylon's forces laid siege to Jerusalem, the cherished capital of Judah. 
The once invincible walls of the city succumbed to the relentless assault by Nebuchadnezzar's armies. Jerusalem fell, its riches looted, and its noble inhabitants, including Daniel and his companions, were forcibly taken into exile. The temple, a sacred symbol of Yah's presence, suffered desecration. The people of Judah endured the painful Babylonian captivity, a dark age in the history of the southern kingdom marked by exile and despair. This period echoes with the anguish of a people displaced from their homeland held captive in a foreign land. During this time, the prophet Jeremiah predicted that Babylon would eventually fall. Babylon must fall because of the slain of Israel, just as the slain of all the earth have fallen because of Babylon. You who have escaped the sword, depart. Do not linger. Remember the Lord in a distant land and let Jerusalem come to mind. Despite its seemingly impenetrable stature, Babylon's days were numbered. Its arrogance, excessive indulgence, and oppression of Yah's people stirred divine judgment. Years later, 540 BC, the downfall arrived. The mighty city where the Euphrates River flowed beneath its walls faced an unexpected conqueror. Cyrus the Great, leading the Persians, devised a cunning strategy diverting the river's flow, allowing his forces to infiltrate the unguarded city. As prophesied, Babylon fell that very night. The once mighty empire crumbled, its rulers slain and its dominion shattered. The fall of Babylon ended the Babylonian captivity, leading to the liberation and return of Judah to their homeland. In your view, which nation or nations do you believe match the description of the prophecy in Revelation 18, portraying the daughter of Babylon and bearing similarities to ancient Babylon? Let's break this down. In the early centuries of its colonization, America's economic prosperity was intricately tied to the brutal machinery of the transatlantic slave trade. This dark chapter in history witnessed the forced migration of millions of Negroes to the shores of the Americas. Plantation economies, especially in the southern colonies, thrived on the labor-intensive cultivation of crops like tobacco, rice, and later cotton. The forced labor of enslaved Negroes became the backbone of these agricultural enterprises generating immense wealth for American landowners and contributing significantly to the nation's economic growth. The profits derived from the sale of slave-produced goods, such as cotton, played a pivotal role in the development of industries and infrastructure, laying the foundation for America's economic rise. The climb from the shadows of slavery to modern global dominance is a narrative woven with triumphs, challenges, and complex dynamics. Emerging from the grieving days of slavery, where the economy prospered on the backs of Negroes, America stepped into a new era marked by the Civil War. The abolition of slavery, a defining moment, set the stage for profound social and economic changes. The Industrial Revolution gained momentum, catapulting the United States into an era of unprecedented innovation and economic growth. During the devastation of the Civil War, the nation began to rebuild, and by the time the World Wars unfolded, America found itself on the global stage. The aftermath of these conflicts saw the United States emerging as an economic powerhouse 
with its industrial capacity largely untouched by the destruction of war. The Marshall Plan and strategic economic policies further solidified America's position, propelling it to unprecedented wealth and influence. However, as the nation scaled new heights of prosperity, the seeds of complexity and challenge were sown. The post-war era witnessed a surge in consumerism and a growing reliance on credit. The pursuit of economic growth sometimes came at the cost of ethical considerations, leading to instances of corruption and corporate misconduct. In recent times, America's economic landscape has been marked by a mounting national debt, a product of ambitious spending and complex geopolitical dynamics. The intricate dance between economic power, political influence, and the pursuit of national interest has occasionally blurred ethical lines giving rise to concerns about corruption within various spheres of governance. This tale of America's rise to dominance and subsequent challenges is a nuanced narrative exploring the interplay of historical events, economic strategies, and societal shifts. Yet, a nation, once powerful and strong, now teeters on the verge of economic collapse and civil unrest. Political divisions are seeping into homes and families, amplified by international conflicts like those in Ukraine and the Middle East, threatening to escalate into a third world war. Meanwhile, the US dollar's diminishing value echoes a shift in global dynamics as nations such as Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa distance themselves from its currency. Corruption, greed, and perversion beg the question, is the U.S. the modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah? It's the immoral actions of the past, present, and the validation of wicked deeds raise the contemplation of whether Revelation 18 indeed points to America. According to Revelation 17:15, in the future, Babylon will hold unprecedented influence over all nations and peoples. Babylon will embrace idolatry and deviate from true faith symbolized by associations with blasphemy and portrayed as a prostitute. This departure from genuine faith will lead to the persecution of faithful followers of the one and only Messiah. It's foretold that Babylon will rise as a center of wealth, luxury, and excess, engaging extensively in global commerce and trade. Beyond materialism, Babylon will lead people astray morally and spiritually and align with a group of 10 kings alongside the beast. Despite its brief prosperity, a time will come when Babylon's system will become obsolete. The beast and the ten kings will bring about its destruction, reducing it to ruin and consuming it with fire. Revelation 18 vividly portrays the impending downfall of the future daughter of Babylon, echoing the historical demise of ancient Babylon's. It serves as an unsettling reminder that no earthly empire, no matter its might, eludes Yah's judgment. Within Revelation 18 lie profound lessons drawn from the rise and fall of Babylon, a stern judgment against a nation steeped in insatiable greed, pride, and excess defying the divine order. The nation's allure, fostering immoral alliances and indulging in lavish extravagance, is poised to face the repercussions of its actions.
scripture forewarns the ballooning smokes of its destruction, eliciting lamentation and sorrow. Witnessing her abrupt demise, onlookers stand in an extreme fear, mourning the nation's fall. Woe to you, mighty Babylon, city of power. In a single hour, your judgment arrives. Revelation 18's imagery paints a scene of the swift collapse of this formidable entity where riches vanish in an instant. The parallel between ancient Babylon's fall and the gradual decline of its descendants is unmistakable, hinting at the inevitable global impact of its imminent destruction. John's vision in the book of Revelation emphasizes the unavoidable judgment upon Babylon, a consequence of defying divine righteousness and embracing wickedness. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. This angel had great power. The angel's glory made the earth bright. The angel shouted with a powerful voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. Share your thoughts on the fall of the daughter of Babylon in Revelation 18. Engage in respectful discussions as we delve deeper into Yah's word. Seek the Most High for clarity and call upon him as stated in Jeremiah 33, 3. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you did not know. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Thank you for watching and I eagerly anticipate our next discussion. Peace and blessings.